Hi friends, welcome to my another video. Today in this video, I will discuss about the difference between overcurrent, overload, short circuit and earth fault. These all are very confusing because in all the cases, there is abnormal current flowing in the circuit. So let us understand this very confusing topic in very detail. That is what is the difference between overcurrent, overload, short circuit and earth fault. So first we will understand what is overload. Overload means when an equipment draw more than its rated current, then that equipment is called it is overloaded. For example, this motor is taking 10 ampere of current, which is the rated current when the load on this conveyor is 50 kg. Okay, but suppose someone kept instead of 50 kg, 60 kg load, then this motor required more current to roll this conveyor belt. In that case, motor will take 12 ampere of current, which is greater than its rated current. In this situation, we can say that the motor is overloaded. Let us take another example. This is the extension board. Okay, this extension board capacity is 10 ampere, but we keep on adding the loads with this extension board due to keep on adding the loads on the extension board now extension board no more carrying 10 ampere of current but it is carrying a 15 ampere of current which is more than its rated current then we can say that this extension board is overloaded in this point we have to understand one very important thing that in both the cases circuit was healthy but due to wrong practice the equipment like here motor and here the extension board get overloaded and due to this overload the equipment like motor here carrying more than its rated current and extension board also carrying more than its rated current that situation is called overload so from this discussion we can say that in overload condition there is nothing wrong with the circuit circuit is healthy and second thing we can note that the current is flowing through the desired path to the correct path okay it's not the current is not flowing through the any undesired circuit and the third thing we notice that in the overload condition the excess current is flowing which is more than the rated current of the equipment which will lead wear and tear in the equipments in the long run now let us understand short circuit short circuit is a faulty condition in an electrical system which result enormous amount of current in the electrical circuit due to formation of low resistance path in the electrical circuit this is the very severe fault considered in the electrical system let us understand in detail what is short circuit to understand this one let us consider first the healthy circuit and then we will create one short circuit condition and we will understand what is the effect of that short circuit in the electrical system so here I took a healthy condition here there is a electrical cooker okay which having a resistance of 45 ohm let us consider the wire resistance is 0 0.5 ohm for the phase wire and 0 0.5 ohm for the neutral wire there is a circuit breaker which having the contact rating 32 ampere here the current will flow through the line to the cooker and then back to the neutral in this case the resistance for this path is 0 0.5 ohm plus 45 ohm uh, plus 0 0.5 ohm for the neutral so the total resistance of this path is 46 ohm this is the single phase so the voltage across line and neutral will be 230 volt so as per the ohms law that is v is equal to i r that is i is equal to v by r that is 230 by 46 46 ohm which will come as 5 ampere so the current flowing through this circuit is 5 ampere in a normal condition now let us create one short circuit and analyze what is the effect happening in the circuit now one nail inserted and it is puncturing the insulation of line wire and neutral wire and this nail creating the short circuit between the line and neutral okay what i said in the uh, definition that the short circuit happened due to the formation of new low resistance path this is the new low resistance path this cooker has a resistance of 45 ohm 
but this nail has a negligible resistance so compared to this the nail having a very low resistance so it is creating a low resistance path and current now not will flow from line to cooker to neutral but it will flow from line to nail to neutral okay because current always have a tendency to flow through a low resistance path now in this case consider this part resistance is 0 0.3 ohm for the wires so voltage across this line and neutral is 230 volt the resistance across this path is 0 0.3 ohm then the current will be i is equal to v by r that is 230 by 0 0.3 which will come across 766 amp which is very very high than the normal condition as we know that the cable has some current ampacity current carrying capacity which is let's say in this case it is 8 ampere or 10 ampere and this cable is carrying only 5 amperes so this cable will be healthy but now the current due to short circuit the current is flowing which is 766 amp which is n numbers of n number times of the rated current of the cable ampacity then what will happen cable will burn out it will catch fire and this is a, this is called a short circuit condition so what we observe so far that in the overload condition there is also an access current in short circuit condition also there is an access current but the access current in case of short circuit is 10 times 100 times more than the rated current but in the overload condition it is just fraction time more than the rated current like here from 10 ampere to 12 ampere like here 10 ampere to 15 ampere but in the short circuit condition the current the uh, abnormal current is several time higher than the rated current hope you understood so far now let us understand some reason for the short circuit condition some reasons are insulation breakdown with age what does it mean suppose there is one motor and it is very old motor then the winding inside the motor will be also very old the insulation provided on the winding is also very old the insulation of the winding get degraded with the time and when the motor is very old then this winding insulation will no more effective as it was new so this degradation in the winding insulation will create short circuit the second reason is mechanical stress due to mechanical stress the cable will get detached from its terminal and touches to the other terminal which lead to the short circuit condition the third condition is physical damage which I explained you here that the nail punctured the main uh, line wire and neutral wire and creating the short circuit between the line and neutral which is the case of physical damage. Some other reasons are during installation due to poor workmanship the cable insulation damage which lead the short circuit condition. The other reason common reason for the short circuit is the wrong connection. I will explain you this one. Suppose there is one neutral wire and there is one phase wire. One of the electrician connected this both the terminal both the wire in a single terminal point then it will lead to the short circuit due to wrong connection which is also a very common reason for the short circuit. The other reason which is very important reason for the short circuit is overload itself. When an equipment get overloaded for longer time then the insulation inside that equipment will get degraded very fast and due to this degradation in the insulation of the equipment it will lead to short circuit condition. Now let us understand the earth fault condition. As explained in the short circuit condition that when the line and neutral get shorted with each other with no resistance or with negligible resistance then that condition is called short circuit condition. In same way earth fault in earth fault condition the line and the earth get short circuited with negligible resistance then it is called earth fault condition. Suppose in this case the line is touches to the equipment body then what will happen the equipment of the body will attain high potential and the current will flow in this case through line to the cooker body to the earth wire. Okay, let us say the resistance for this path is 0 0.4 ampere. Then as per the Ohm's law, I is equal to V by R, that is 230 by 0 0.4, then it will come to 575 ampere. 
विच इज ऑल्सो अ वेरी हाई करेंट दैट कंडीशन इज कॉल्ड अर्थ फॉल्ट कंडीशन वॉट वी अंडरस्टैंड सो फार इज ओवरलोड कंडीशन शॉर्ट सर्क्यूट फॉल्ट अर्थ फॉल्ट एंड वी ऑब्जर्व दैट इन ऑल थ्री कंडीशन देर इज अ एक्सेसिव करेंट इन द सर्क्यूट ओके वेन दिस एक्सेसिव करेंट इज कॉल्ड ओवर करेंट सो ओवर करेंट हैज थ्री सेक्शंस वन इज ओवरलोड सेकेंड वन इज शॉर्ट सर्क्यूट थर्ड वन इज अर्थ फॉल्ट सो वी कैन कंक्लूड दैट ओवर करेंट कैन बी ड्यू टू ओवरलोड कंडीशन कैन बी ड्यू टू शॉर्ट सर्क्यूट कंडीशन and can be due to earth fall condition i hope after watching this video you will have crystal clear concept that what is the difference between overload short circuit and earth fall and how this over current can be due to overload can be due to short circuit and can be due to earth fall condition if you really like this video then please subscribe to my channel hit the thumbs up button and press the bell icon for future videos my 90% of the viewer watching my videos without subscribing my channel so i request all of my viewer subscribe to my channel which will motivate me to make such videos we will meet in any other video till then take care keep learning and bye bye thank you so much